What's going on there guys? Good evening, it's Earthmaster here back on the uh, channel with an update video on this Monday night, July 25th, 2022 date, about 8.30 p.m. California time. If you guys are watching the live stream there, my light, uh, my uh, my computer completely froze up when I started talking about our fires out here in Southern California and what's going on with them. Uh, not for sure what's going on with my computer, but we're going to go ahead and do this update video. We'll get to the fires here at the end. Uh, latest quake shows some activity there into the region of the Ridgecrest area. Little one point, uh, looks like a 1.0 striking out there in the area of Ridgecrest. Some movement up and down the state, the west state or the western portion of the uh, state of California. Uh, also some activity down along the San Jacinto Fault Zone, including a 2.0 near the Salton City area. Uh, just earlier this afternoon so things still kind of ramping up out here also noticing a little swarm of activity off the coast of the Baja California region just south of Tijuana a little swarm of activity kicking up here movement throughout the rest of the globe here rest of the flat scale mo model shows some activity ramping up around the western portion of the Philip or the of the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire and also the western portion of the Philippine plate here seen a 5.1 in the Japan area around the Tonga region and southward we're noticing an uptick in earthquake activity quite a few fours and even a even a 3.3 near the Cromwell New Zealand area that the USGS is reporting here on the map I find that kind of odd but hey that's pretty cool at least they are showing some of the activity uh, there's definitely been quite a bit of movement in the area of uh, New Zealand. Let me bring up the New Zealand map here real quick and I'll show you guys what's going on. Pop this baby up here real quick. Hopefully the computer holds up. I, I just find it really odd that things are uh, took a down downfall when I started talking about the fires. Uh, 3.2 the latest earthquake here along with a cluster of threes uh, and even some fours up here around New Zealand. Things really ramping up here south of the Kermadec Islands. Got to watch that pretty closely. We have not seen any sufficient large-scale movement in this area in quite some time. Uh, swarms around, of course, the Middle America Trench and the South America region, all very common. And a cluster of quakes here around the Indonesia Islands area. As far as major quake activity goes, ooh. I wonder, I guess why I just felt a little earthquake there. Uh, my earthquake rock is swinging a little bit, but then again, I have fans on, so not for sure, but I will keep an eye on it. Uh, activity, of course, along the west coast, active, but not so much active here within the last hour. Got a little scattered activity throughout the rest of the United States here, also through the South America region, where uh, uh, little activity is kicking up. A 5.7 in the Ecuador area kicking off earlier this afternoon time frame at uh, about 10 kilometers there. So things kind of spreading out, if you notice that, getting a broad scale of earthquake activity throughout the Pacific Plate uh, and the West Coast activity. Uh, not a whole lot going on throughout China or the Middle East. There is some activity that in the uh, Iran region, but this is some older movement. Not a whole lot of newer activity throughout this area. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, we'll check this out before we go into the fires. Uh, not a whole lot going on. Not, not a whole lot whatsoever. No earthquake activity to report there at Yellowstone National Park. And the trimmer map, real quick, shows some uh, trimmer out here along the Cascadia subduction zone. Shows about 150 epicenters up here of trimmer along the southern end of the Cascadia. That's a pretty big uptick uh, in, in uh, some movement down there along the southern end of the Cascadia. Now, fire map. Let's see if I can get through this without things taking a turn for the worse here. When I started talking about these fires in, in the live video, we were questioning some of these uh, these fires starting out here out of the blue around Yosemite. And my computer just completely froze up. Like, literally. I, I don't know if the folks uh, on the live stream heard it or not, but I was like, what is going on here? So we were looking at these fires called the Washburn Fire which is uh, about 87% contained. It has burned four th over almost 5,000 acres. It was reported back on the July 7th time frame. The big one, though, is the questionable one that I kind of started talking about, and all of a sudden the computer froze up. The Oak Fire, 
burned uh, almost 18,000 acres in only about three days or so. It is only 16% contained in a heavily forested area. A lot of wilderness, a lot of um, trees out here, a lot of forest area, folks. Mariposa down here, it's kind of stretching towards there. Um, and uh, hopefully we, not, we don't see a Greenville type event. I was up here in Northern California last year um, during the fire out around Chester in the Greenville region, burned down the uh, the, the uh, community up there in the Greenville region. Uh, it's just weird. I've seen some weird stuff up there. Uh, I'm talking about uh, fires, the firefighters allowing stuff to burn, uh, not not really putting it out at all. I'm not for sure if they have a, a no burn or a let it burn policy or what, but I, I, I wouldn't be doing that. I would be trying to save the communities around the region there. So there's a lot of questionable activity when we see these fires start up out of the blue um, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, there is unfortunately some lightning possibilities coming up here tomorrow time frame, uh, including this area where I live. Let me bring up the windy map here and show you guys the potential for thunderstorms out here from the monsoonal moisture which is making its way up north from the mexico area and into the desert southwest northward now let's bring up tuesday's timestamp right around 12 p.m starting to see a whole bunch of thunderstorm cape values kicking up here in the southern part of the state and as the day progresses moves northward into the areas of the sierra nevada and possibly around the yosemite region now some of these thunderstorms can produce some heavy rain it'd be awesome if we did see a major thunderstorm uh, put out that fire around the yosemite region the oak fire uh, but a lot of these storms here uh, can produce lightning without rain they're called dry lightning events and we're kind of expecting this here into the valley areas of northern california and the surrounding regions and that is not good because everything is super just had a bug land on me what is it with bugs recently um so that is not good for the for the region here everything's super duper dry uh, we haven't had any rain here in northern california in quite a few months and um this dry lightning event is the first so far this year so we're going to watch this pretty closely but uh a lot of monsoonal moisture is stretching its way up here into california and the eastern part of the sierra nevada so we got to watch that for some possible further fire outbreaks. All right, uh, we covered earthquake activity. Uh, just kind of watching it now. No specific main areas. I think we need to watch New Zealand though, maybe uh, with this activity that's kind of kicking up there, up and down the trench there of Kermadec of the uh, Kermadec Islands. Far as the space weather goes, there's uh, a little activity. Uh, kicking up here due to the BZ component tilting south. Look at that. See this area right here? We were not expecting that. Uh, sometimes these things happen and allow some solar wind stream to pour in into the regions of the polar areas. We're looking at some amplification here of the auroras. Had the KP index here pop up around the 4 range, almost to the G1 class storm. Un expected here we were not expecting anything whatsoever so sometimes these things pop up and allow uh, little surprise events for the folks here at the uh, northern latitudes higher latitudes not a whole lot going on for solar flare and activity looking at the visible disk of the sun wow look at that very minimal all these ones are decaying there further off the western limb and a couple new developing sunspots here northeastern limb here of the sun but they do not look at all promising so all right guys i'm gonna jump off here i will be starting up the live stream um again i i don't know what happened um it's been a while since i've had any computer issues like this um to where it just completely freezes up my computer like it was not um operable at all i could not get it to close out any windows um control alt delete of course didn't work everything was frozen so um I had to shut it down manually with the power and restart everything here on my side. So uh, I am going to get this video uploaded. 
and onto the channel and I will be starting the uh, I'll be starting the live stream here soon after so sit tight and uh, we'll chat you guys on the live stream event peace out folks